All right, if you're new to fly fishing, I'm gonna help you out in this video. I get a lot of questions about tapered leaders and tippet sizes and what they should bring or that person that's asking should bring when fly fishing. I'm gonna really boil it down simply for you. And be sure to stick to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a casting technique you're gonna wanna know about. All right, so what do you bring? So let's look at my gear bag. Now, you'll have to excuse the fact that I'm somewhat of a hoarder and that's just what works for me. But really all you need are three, now let's, let's call it four different sizes of tapered leaders. So let's pull out what I've got here. So let's see, I've got a lot. All right, so the first size you have in your bag is 5X. You should have a 5X tapered leader. I rarely ever, like I can't even remember the last time I went 6X or 7X. Even when Kobe and I were fishing this super, super spooky select fishery, he was using 5X and caught this monster. This is it. He's tagged. Come on. Come on. Get it. Oh my God. Get it. Get it. Oh my God. Look at the size of that fish. Oh my God. Wow. That was a big fish on 5X. Now, granted, he had to kind of, you know, be careful bringing it in because it's not hugely, hugely big pound test and teeth can really break this pretty easy. But he got pretty lucky. He hooked that fish right in the nose and it never got wrapped around. So he's able to land it with 5X. But we, he needed this lighter tippet for the fish to not be spooky when it comes to the leader. Typically, I'm fishing with 4X. See if I can find it. Here it is. 4X tippet. And you'll notice this is a 12 footer. I have both nine foot and 12 foot in my bag. Right now I'm fishing this lake. I figured the fish were gonna be a little further down. So I put on 12 foot just so I don't have to tie on a bunch of extra tippet. But 4X is generally kind of the everyday type of trout tapered leader, nine foot or 12 foot. 4X is really kind of a solid in between. It's got a small enough diameter that most fish are not spooky. Uh, and ignore it, right? Strong enough to catch some bigger fish. That big giant fish I just caught, yeah, that was like pushing five pounds. That was on 4X tippet. I was a little nervous, but I landed it. I was careful, but 4X works great. Now, if you're doing some streamers, let's see here. Where's, where's my streamer? Where's my 3X? Okay, Whew, I thought I was out. So I've got 3X right here. So if I'm doing streamer fishing, bigger flies, I'm using 3X. I'm also using 3X if I'm using big type of dry patterns, Chernobyls, um, ants, you know, uh, hoppers, big foam bugs. I use 3X. One, because generally the fish, if they're looking up and they're eating something that big, they're not gonna be leader shy, but it also helps uh, with twisting, right? When you, tie, when you cast those big giant terrestrials, a lot of times they have a tendency to twist. So having 3X kind of keeps that from happening. Now let's say you're going for those, some of those, you know, big buck nasty browns, giant cutthroat. You can get away. I even have, you don't need to have zero X in here, but I would have some two X. Two X here is 12 pound test. And you can pretty much land any fish, any trout on a two X. I used this when I was fishing those big lahat and cutthroat because they can be super toothy. So I was using two X. 2X I have in my bag at all times, just for just for the bigger fish. So 5X, 4X, 3X, and 2X really are the only four sizes you need for everyday trout fishing. And you wanna match those up with the same rolls of tippet. So you can see here, I've got a 5X roll of tippet. I've got a 4X roll of tippet. I've got a 3x roll of tippet and I've got a 2x roll of tippet. So I have all of these rolls of tippet to match the tapered leaders because inevitably when you're tying on a lot of flies and I encourage you to do that, right? Tie on a lot of different flies until you figure out what works. We're well, going to keep shortening the leader. So you're going to need to add some length and that's when you have this roll of tippet that adds length to your tapered leader. You don't want to generally cast just just the tippet because you need that taper to be able to roll the fly over. Sometimes when you're fishing a big sink tip, you can get away with basically just going to a tippet ring and running three or four feet of a heavier tippet and you're all right. But if you are casting 
a, a, a typical fly rod setup, right? Dry line, you're gonna need that taper to roll the fly out. So this is what lengthens the tapered leader, or you use this if you're gonna tie a dropper on. A lot of times I'll fish two flies and I'm gonna generally use this. Now, here's a, here's a fly fishing tip for you as well. If you're using 3X on your tapered leader, use either 4X or 5X for your dropper. Why? Because the inevitability of you getting snagged on something with that dropper, it's gonna happen. At least you're gonna get, you know, with a lighter tippet below your main fly, you're gonna get at least one of those flies back. So I always size down with any type of dropper. And that way, if I get stuck, I'm gonna at least get the uh, top fly back. So a little, little fishing tip. Now you'll notice I've got a lot of rolls of tippet in my bag. Why do I have all these rolls? They're pretty much duplicates. And I do have some fluorocarbon in there. If I'm using a sink tip and I just want some extra sink, I do have some fluorocarbon. Their fluorocarbon can also be really good for toothy fish. It just has a, a stronger, uh, stronger, I guess, tinsel strength. So it's not as susceptible to, to breaking on teeth. Uh, but I also have basically two rolls of everything, right? Because the inevitability you're fishing and you peel off some three X tippet and all of a sudden you got nothing left. How many times has that happened to you? Seriously, it's happened to me a lot. So I always bring two rolls of 3X, there's another roll. This just happens to be Scientific Angler's roll of 3X. So I've got doubled up on all the sizes. All right, so your fly fishing casting tip. There is a way, especially when you're casting double nymph setups or double streamer setups, there's a way that you want to cast the fly rod with that to avoid tangles. And I put together a tutorial right here. It's short, I think it's just barely over a minute. You can, you can got an extra minute, watch this video and I hope it's on this side, <laughs> I always get confused, it's backwards. And you'll cast these double setups a lot easier without uh, tangling up. So I hope that helps. And until the next time, everybody, fish on.